Hey, what is up? Welcome back, Design Squad. There's something about those tiny purpose built design tools. Because sometimes you encounter these experiments and it's usually done by developers themselves. It's almost rarely by designers. And I guess that's why there is such a rise of creative technologies roll across different companies. But today I want to share with you something which I discovered by complete accident. You see this gamified interface where you have a lot of different knobs and options and it's almost hard to tell what they do. So the actual UX of this product is a bit crap if you ask me but it's also awesome at the same time because it forces you to experiment explore and come up with something and what you can come up with is auto generated tech art or whatever you might call it but it's basically different type of lines and projections and different type of bits you can use in let's say your creative banners and product design or I let's say used it in several newsletters as well so for example this is my Figma screen as you can see and I just used this that sand color with some gold lines I literally generated that in that product I just showed you so as you can see here is a preview on the left hand side I can download it as transparent PNG SVG I can just literally open it immediately in my sketch and I have a lot of bits to edit. I can reposition it or change colors, disable the fill and things of that nature. I mean, you can make it yours. It's not just a flat image you can apply anywhere. You can actually work with it. And then you also have these themes so you can switch quickly and come up with something which you like. So for example, if we stick with rainbow, white and rainbow, maybe something like that. There is a lot of different presets here as well. So different points in the visualization itself. You can apply the curves that then it makes much more busy. And now also splice it and invert it as well like this for example this is pretty damn cool I'm gonna save this one as well so let me just play around with the waves here it's almost like a joy division cover 2.0 with some color supply to that and some warping as well some complexity to split the world as you can see and if we switch to something like white background or other themes it just makes it so much more awesome so there is a whole load of parameters to explore even like particles let's say if you want to split it into tinier or bigger particles you can do that too the only thing what I wish this tool would have is really just kind of like expanded view or allow you to reposition to see in the detail exactly what's going on because if you play with the actual dot sizes it's really hard to see what's the fidelity like if you zoom into it you can also randomize it really quickly so if I change a present just to show you what it could do if you're quite lazy or you don't want to explore, you can do that too. So just click randomize button and Bob's your uncle. And all of it is quite awesome because you can find use cases to use that in different bits. I would definitely advise you to bookmark it from, you know, UI design perspective, visual design, graphic design, product design perspective, or any other type of thing maker like this, for example, this ring is awesome. Let me just download that again. The actual tool is called Tinkersynth. Make sure to just experiment and see exactly what you yourself come up with. If you like this video, give a like, subscribe to this channel, leave a comment down below if you have any design tools you want to share with the community. And on that note, I'll see you next time.